What's up guys? I'm just out here shed hunting a new area, kind of looking for elk sheds primarily, but I'm kind of in a spot that could have both deer and elk. I've been at it for probably a couple hours now, haven't had any luck. I've been on pretty good sign, but haven't seen anything yet until now. I, uh, I just was walking along the top of a ridge and I turned over to my right and I could just see what looked like a beam and I pulled the binos up and Sure enough, I got a deer shed up here, so let's walk up to it and see what it is. Nice. Pretty nice four point. Looks like he might be a couple years old, I'm not sure. It's windy up here today. Hopefully you guys can hear me. As you can see, this thing's got a pretty good base on it. It's really gnarly. Not a big buck by any means. It's got a pretty nice beam, but not tall at all. Might poke around in here a little bit, see if I can find his other side. We'll see. Just kind of walking on a trail. <clears throat> Saw something over here to my left. Pulled the binos up. Looks like I got another deer shed. Hasn't been that long since I found that last one. So it's pretty cool. This one looks to be a little chewed up. Could actually be the match. Not sure, it looks kind of like him. I'll have to pull that one off, off my pack and check. Sweet. This one feels heavier. I don't know. I'll we'll just have to see. It's a lot. It's a lot the same if it's not. Just picked up that other deer shed and then a little broken point next to it. Walked probably 15 yards or so. Turned to the right, and I've got a pretty sweet deer shed here. He's super nice. He's older, but man, this is a nice shed. Heck yeah. Check this out. Pretty sweet. Really a heavy antler. Super tall. His beam doesn't look too crazy special, but then it wraps around really, really far. He's really cool looking. Definitely gonna spend quite a bit of time trying to match this one up. This is one of the better deer horns that I've found for sure. Really tall. Sweet. Let's start. Start looking around. Well, I haven't been going for all that long since I found that big deer shed. I'm still trying to find the other side to him. I see some tines out in front of me, but it looks too small to be him. But it might be a weird angle, so I'll just have to get up here and see. Oh, well, this might be a little rag or elk, looks like. And it is. Sweet, though. I will take it. Looks like a little brownie, actually. Heck yeah, might have found a little pocket. So I'm still just walking around, kind of combing the area for that deer antler. I got service for a second, so I made a call to my wife, and then I called my dad, actually. And while I was on the phone with him, I turned the corner to my right. I got a nice elk shed here. Pretty solid. It looks like he's got a huge burr. He's not a monster elk, but he's really nice. Carries some mass pretty good. It's going into a seven right there. I'm not sure if this is just a year old or two. <clears throat> pretty good bull though. And then while I was walking up to this one, I looked down the down the hill just a little bit. This is only like 20 yards away. And I've got a little raghorn, probably last year's. But man, I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna comb through this area a lot. See if I can get something matched up. There's the little rag, nothing special, but definitely one to add to the pack. Back up to the bigger one. Heck yeah. 
He's pretty sweet. It's a really nice bull. Look at that burr. Heck yeah. Huh. Looks like I got some tines up in front of me. Not sure what it is from here, but just getting up to it. Looks like a little rag elk. Kind of brownie, so that's cool. Sweet. Add it to the pack. So I just came from over there. There's a little draw leading down to this little watering tank here. And I've been seeing a ton of tracks. I was really surprised I hadn't found an antler. And I finally got one here next to this tank over, over here. Not bad, brownie. I will take those all day. Actually, can't believe that, that's a hard white sitting right next to this pond. I'm really surprised about that. All right, so I'm kind of starting to loop back to the truck and I uh, turned and looked up this little hillside hiding behind this rock. This is four point. He almost looks like he might be the match to the first antler I picked up. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. But I'll keep on heading back and hopefully luck into a couple more. All right guys, I'll probably be back to my truck here in probably 15 minutes. It's getting super windy right now. But you can see that road right there. Check this out. Probably only 15, 20 yards off the road. Not a bad one. It's like a hard white. Awesome. Well, maybe I can find another one before I get all the way back. We'll see. All right, well I just made it back to the truck and that was a day well spent for sure. I ended up finding 10 antlers, a good variety of elk and deer. So here is the first antler I found and I was able to match him up with the second to last antler I found. And there's the big deer shed I found and I figured out that um, this other side right here was the match side. I just didn't know it at the time just because he's so chewed up, I thought he was older. But I guess at least I have one really good side, so that's cool. Kind of stinks though. I wish I could have found him um, a little bit earlier, but oh well, it happens. Here's that nicer elk shed I found. Here's some of the rag horns that I found. And then there's that last, uh, last deer shed I picked up on the way back to the truck. So all in all, a really good day. <clears throat> there's more to come, so... Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.